How do you like this little pose? Don't you think it's rather fetching? Now, what are you driving at? Nothing. Except that Janice seemed to be rather enjoying herself when I came into the kitchen just now. <laughs> Nonsense. What's up, everybody? I'm Rick. And I'm Anna. And uh, welcome to our Bucket List channel, a channel where we try to realize the goals and dreams that are on our bucket list. In today's video, we keep going towards that goal of watching every movie that was nominated at the Academy Award for Best Picture from 1927 up until 2028. Uh, today, we're talking about a movie that we watched recently, which is uh, The Divorcee. A movie that was nominated in the third Academy Award in 1929 1930. Um, so, before we get into details about what we thought of the movie, uh, let me just explain how we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this the same way as we do every other movie video, which is first part is spoiler free uh, for the people who haven't watched a movie and don't want it spoiled. And second part will go deep into some of the story elements that we wanna talk about. So, full of spoilers, we'll warn you at that point. So you're not surprised when we tell you who died. Or does anyone die? Stay tuned to find out in the second part of the video. And now before I ask you what you thought about this movie, let me just shoot you with a bit of information about it. I love this part. I always like finding out interesting stuff about the movie. First of all, movie uh, made by MGM. Like, I mean, a majority of the movie yeah, we've been watching. Probably 90%. Yeah. Um, came out in April 1930. It is based on a novel called Ex-Wife by Ursula Parat. And I guess the title of the novel and the title of the a movie tells you what this is about. Um, directed by Robert Z. Leonard uh, and starring Norma Shearer, uh, I'm not sure, Shearer is what I'm gonna say, as Jerry Martin. Mm, yes. Uh, interesting fact about uh, Norma, she's from Montreal. Oh, yes, nice. Yes, the city that we're in right now, the city where this is being recorded. Chester Morris, once again, he's been in a lot of movies oh, that yeah. we've watched. We're seeing him again. Yeah. As Ted Martin, uh, of course, like I just said, Chester Morris played Chick William in uh, Alibi and also Morgan and The Big House, a movie we watched last week. And so, big star of the time, Chester Norris. Uh, Chester Morris. Conrad... Uh, Conrad Nagel as Paul, mm -hmm. okay, which we've all also seen in a previous movie. Oh, I don't remember him. Have uh, we? I thought you wouldn't. He was the master of ceremonies in Hollywood Review of 1929. Oh, uh, I um, yeah, I remember now. Yeah. I remember. Mm -hmm. That's true. And Robert Montgomery as Don. Where have we seen Robert Montgomery? Can you remember that one? Yes. Wait, I. Forgot. No, I remember the name. I remember yeah. we, we heard the name before, but I forgot. It was last week in the big house he played Kent. Ah, right. Yeah. Uh, the Divorcee, all-star cast like we just talked about. All people we've seen in other movies that were nominated for uh, Best Picture. Uh, and it was also nominated not only for Best Picture or Outstanding Production, as it was called back then, but also for Best Director for Robert Z. Uh, Leonard. Uh, best Actress, Norman uh, Sherrier, Sherrier, someone in the comment tell me how to pronounce that name, um, <laughs> which she won. Oh, she... I was going to ask you because yeah. I had a feeling because yeah. I liked it because mm -hmm. she was good. <laughs> and uh, Best Writing, uh, the only one Best Actress. So. Let's get right into it. Anna, what did you think of this movie without spoiling anything? Again, I find this is a bit of a tough one. I have to say, I actually really liked it. Once again, I find that the acting was really good, especially on um, Jerry's, uh, Jerry, the character. Norma. Yeah. Norma, Norma. Mm -hmm. We will call her Norma. <laughs> I like the story, but once again, I'm having a bit of an issue with mostly the ending. Oh. I thought, I thought you would get to that after uh, <laughs> the love parade, was it? Uh, 
I had also a few flashback of the love parade t- towards the end, but I feel like in this case it's a bit more justifiable. There are still things to to criticize, but it was more believable. Yeah. And not only believable, but like it felt less like a product of its time, like uh, the love parade was, where you watch you watch it and you watch the end, and you're like, huh, this is definitely a 1920s 1930s movie with the way they treat women and theirs. But here you felt like, oh no, this is arguable. This is something that I can. Believe. Yeah, this is something that whether you like it or not, it happens. It's real. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, so I, I will say I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the movie uh, mostly, like you said, because of the performances. Like I said, all-star oh, cast. Yeah. Uh, Chester Morris, always good. And most of the movies we've watched him, he's, he always steals the show. So he was really good here too, but really... The person who steals the show in this case is Norma. Oh, yeah. Uh, Norma is... She just shines yeah. through and through. From, from the first moment, the first scene. Mm-hmm. Beginning to end, it's her movie and she lets you know. And yeah, I loved it. At the beginning, I wasn't sure. Like, I was like, what's happening here? What's, what is this movie? And then it gets into it. Like, Would you recommend uh, this movie to people at home who are not sure whether they should watch it or not? Yes. I would. I would definitely recommend it. Mm. I feel like I said, whether you like it or not in the end, it feels very real. For that reason alone, plus the performance, like we said, Mm -hmm. I would definitely recommend it. Yeah, exactly. Unlike The Love Parade, in this case, we felt like it's just, this is something that would happen, you know? This is what some, the characters did, you know? Even if you don't agree with the choice of the character, it's what she did and it's believable. Yeah, exactly. And so, yeah, I had... uh, We'll get more into it, but I didn't have that much of a problem with the ending, uh, though I find it questionable exactly. I don't <laughs> agree with what she's doing, but I believe it. And uh, yeah, watch this movie. Watch this movie. If you have a chance to get your hand on the copy, uh, don't hesitate. It's really good. Performances, A1. Uh, she deserved that Academy Award. Oh, definitely. Now let's get into spoiler territory. If you don't want to get spoiled, I invite you to leave this video. with Hit the like button before you leave, but then leave the video and uh, come back next week when we talk about a new movie. That ending. That ending. Oh my god. You can't... It's one of those... You can't get to the ending without talking about how things developed a little bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's get to the crux of it. huh? He... uh, So they're in this relationship or... Chester and Norma and he cheats on her well he cheated on her in the past uh she discovers it she's mad and it's like oh it, it didn't mean anything yeah it's okay yeah. don't be mad it didn't mean anything exactly. oh my god so <laughs> he leaves for a business trip she gets hangry she gets drunk with one of the best friend Don played by uh, Montgomery and then she cheats on him with the best friend and now he blames her not only does he blame her he gets super angry and like leaves the relationship right yeah and she calls him out on it which i find that that was a strong moment for her she's like don't you realize how hypocrite you're being right now yeah exactly that you said that it doesn't mean anything that it's in the past and we Uh can get past it like if i if you want me to forgive you why can't you forgive me for Mm -hmm. making the same mistake and it's a commentary on like uh social expectation of men and women because it says he mentions the fact, like, like I'm a man. Like, what do you expect me to do? Like, men will right. be men. Exactly. And like, and but when... you, he said, you. I thought you were the most pure exactly. thing in the world. Mm-hmm. Something like this. And so it's like, this oh. expectation, you know. If a woman does it, you know, she's a uh, she's shamed. And if a man does it, it's like, oh man, it, it, it happened. It didn't it mean happens. anything. It's fine. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, to get to the ending, so we understand that part. They split up. Huh? The divorcee, they divorce. She, they go back together. She goes back and to him. The, and, and it is her who goes back. She yeah. looks for him. She almost apologizes again. Yeah. And she's the one who like makes the reconciliation possible. Mm-hmm. While him, he's just... He, he just accepts it. Yeah. As if, okay, I forgive you. Mm-hmm. But he also has something to be forgiven for. Exactly. She makes all the effort to get the relationship back. Yeah. Uh, and to real. Like when he discovers that she cheated, she goes back to him. She's like, oh, I'll forget that you cheated too. Like, uh, forgive me. Don't leave. You know, she like begs him to not uh, leave her. Mm. 
And she makes all the attempts. She tra- she crosses the Atlantic to fight him. Right. Like she, I think he's in Paris at the yeah, end. Yeah, in Paris. They, and they meet again. So that's what I was saying is that I don't agree with her choice. I think like he didn't deserve her. But at the same time, it's a choice that you can believe in. Yeah, it's it's totally believable. Yeah, like exactly. she actually loves. That's him. the relation, the realization that she has when she goes out with Paul a little, uh, is that oh, you know what? After all, we can't run away from what we believe and who we are. I loved my husband just like uh, Dorothy. Dorothy is another character. I loves you, Paul. So you know, no matter what we say, we can't run away from that. Yeah. And. Yeah. It was an important realization for her, but the male character doesn't learn anything. Yeah. And is... Yeah. Uh, there's, there's no growth there. Yeah. That's the problem. Mm-hmm. Like, she... You see her, like, changing and transforming and learning this thing, while him, he stays exactly the same from the first moment when, when he thought that it's not a big deal it's that not I a big cheated deal. on you. And he gets rewarded for that because she comes back and they are back together. Yeah. You know, so it, it kind of feels wrong. It leaves a bad aftertaste in your mouth. Yeah. But again, it's real. Man. It's re- Yeah. I, I think we've said this already yeah. so many times. Yeah. But it's so realistic. Mm-hmm. It's true. I thought it was a great movie. We, I, we didn't get into some of the more minute detail, like Paul and Dorothy's relationship. But you guys can watch the movie. Or if you've watched it, you already know. Uh, but I thought those parts were also interesting, but not as interesting as the main relationship between Chester and Norma, of course. And Norma's own... Uh, challenge and realization of what it really means to love someone Uh, so yeah watch that movie I recommend it yep I recommend it too Mm -hmm. and if you guys have actually watched that movie or plan on watching it uh, hit us in the comment below and tell us what you liked about it or what uh, you think you will like about it if you haven't (laughs) watched it I guess Uh, like the video if you did subscribe if you're not subscribed already and uh Hit the notification bell to be notified when we talk about our next movie, which I'm going to spoil it for you right now, is the winner of the third Academy Award for Outstanding Production. Oh, I can't wait for that one. Have a nice day.